previously I've set up my basic Unity installation, and now I'm going to add Houdini Engine to this. In this case, it's with my installation, which will be under the Program Files directory, under the Side Effects folder. Here we'll have a Houdini Engine folder. I currently have two versions of the engine installed, one for Unreal and one for Unity. In this case, I'll enter the Unity folder. I'm going to select my newest Houdini installation. There's a Unity package file within this folder, and I'll drag and drop this onto Unity. For this installation, I'll just install everything. I'll add a new folder to the Assets folder, and this will be called HDA. I will open this folder in the Explorer, and I'll copy the path for this folder. I've also created a project directory which I'm going to work with for Houdini, and I've created a template folder here that I'm going to use to create my projects with, as I prefer to create my project structure manually rather than through the project wizard. I'll duplicate this project folder, and I'll call this test. This will be the basis for all the Houdini projects which we make for this project in the future. I will eventually use this project as a template. I can then enter Houdini. I will save this empty project in the temporary project that I've just created. I'm going to call this project Test. Next I'll work in the Edit drop-down menu. Here I will open the radial menus. Here I'll look at the Network Editor plugins. I have a Unity exporter here, which is a slightly more polished version of an exporter which I built earlier in this channel. I'm going to use this to export my Unity HDAs. This exporter will set its path based off an environment variable. I'll open the aliases and variables panel, and we're going to add this variable. So I'll go to the variables tab. This variable will be created for my Unity folder. Once again, I'll get this path from my HDA directory, and this will be the folder that I'm saving to. This directory is going to be stored within my Unity exporter environment variable. I'll change the direction of the slashes in this directory. I can now use this radial menu to export HDAs to that path. I'll test this by creating a basic geometry node. I will add a box to this node. I'll convert this box into a subnetwork. I'll rename this subnetwork to test box. I'll convert this to an HDA. And I'll set this with default parameters because this is purely for testing. In the type properties, I'm going to add a parameter. In this case, since it's primarily for testing, there'll only really be one parameter, and that will be the uniform scale. I can apply and I can accept the changes. I'll then use my exporter, and I'm going to export this into my HDA root folder. I've set up the directory incorrectly. This is installed directly to my assets directory and not into the HDA directory. I can export again. And it is exporting to the correct folder. I can drag this into the default scene. And if this is working correctly, I should have a cube. In the inspector, I should be able to see that this is a Houdini engine asset. And I should be able to use the uniform scale to scale the cube. My HDA is being brought in correctly. And in this case, the session loaded correctly. Sometimes we may need to reload sessions manually, and that would be done under the Houdini Engine menu. If the session wasn't loaded, we would generally need to reconnect as a pipe session, but for the moment this is working, and this is my first Houdini asset being brought in, as well as allowing me to set up my basic scene and export from Houdini. I'll delete the HDA which I saved in the wrong directory. That should complete my Houdini Engine setup. Next, I'll start working on a character to use for prototyping.